Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at wedding slash marriage objection stories. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. My now husband asked my father for my hand in marriage before he proposed. My dad flat out said no. Well, that's kind of sad. I mean, if they're in love, they're in love. Okay. My dad talked to me every week in the two months leading up to the wedding and said I don't have to go through with it if I don't want to. I wouldn't upset anyone. I mean, there's a reason why they're going to get married soon. It's because they want to get married. That's why they want to get married. We had a destination wedding and when my parents arrived at a resort, he told me he would fly me home if I wanted to. Whoa, this dad really doesn't want his daughter to marry the guy. Right before walking me down the aisle, he asked if I was sure and again mentioned flying me home if I didn't want to go through with it. Even down the aisle? <laughs> like they were about to say the vows and he's still going to be like, you know, if you don't want to marry him, you can tell me right away and we can just leave. That's not how it works. That's honestly very, very heartless too to do that. Can you imagine you're about to marry someone and suddenly they're like, you know what, I, I, I don't want to marry you anymore. Let's just break up. Like, what? Well, they did say now husband, so they're married. And I'm glad they're married. <laughs> wow, wow. That is actually kind of awkward too. Like, can you imagine being the groom and you know your wife's father just hates your guts, but you have no reason why? Jeez. It was a rehearsal dinner. My aunt's mother stood up and gave a big long speech about how my uncle wasn't good enough for her daughter and how my uncle would never amount to anything. My aunt started crying and my uncle told his now mother-in-law to sit down and shut up and they were getting married no matter what she said. Oh, yeah, tell her. They have been married for 20 years now and my uncle's mother-in-law hasn't spoken to him since. Good. <laughs> wow, she gave a long speech. Well, you wasted your breath, okay? They still got married and they've been married for 20 long years. What's with people objecting? I mean, it's not like it's your wedding. It's not like it's your marriage. <laughs> I just don't get it. Like, I honestly don't get it when someone is against your marriage. Like, it's not even their marriage. It's your marriage between you and one other person. But like, outside people are just getting involved. Why? <laughs> like, this is not your life, please. <laughs> I just don't get it. I honestly don't get it. Like, just let others live their lives happily, okay? You live yours and they will live theirs, okay? Okay? I accidentally objected to a wedding. It was my first time taking the train and I walked into the wrong station. It was a wedding venue. I was trying to find my track. I was randomly opening doors. I opened the doors at the perfect time as they were asking if anyone objects. It was quiet and awkward and loud. Oh, that's so awkward. This is like exactly in the movies or like dramas, you know, when someone objects and they open the door and they're like, I object. I love her. <laughs> Something like that. Wow. That's so awkward. Hey, at least this wasn't intentional. At least this was just an accident. I said no at my own wedding. It was a super fast ceremony at our new house with just the officiant and a couple of people for witnesses. When he asked if I took my spouse in marriage or something like that, I honestly don't remember. I said no. There was about a beat and then I said yes. I thought it was funny at least. Wait, so, 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 so it was a prank? <laughs> they objected. Just kidding. They're like, no, nah, I don't want to marry. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. I do. I do. <laughs> What? Oh, uh, okay. Once I was at a backyard wedding and a random guy rode by on his bike yelling, Don't do it! <laughs> Man, excuse, excuse me, come back here. I went to a wedding once where the groom decided mid-ceremony he didn't want to get married. What? Mid-ceremony? Why did you have to wait until the wedding day? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm not ready. I'm not ready to be married yet. I, I, I want all this. I still want my freedom. I was at a wedding between one of my really good friends and a fiance who she had been with for nearly four years. Then in the middle of the ceremony, my brother, a year younger than the groom, stands up and yells, we can't live this life anymore, Will, and proceeds to run up to the front of the chapel and kisses the groom. Instead of objecting, the groom kissed him back and professed his love to him and what a mistake he was about to make. 
Wow. My friend just immediately burst into tears and started screaming about all the time he had cost her. She ran out of the chapel and I followed her. True. You wasted four years of her life? Wow. That was kind of dramatic. Dang, I don't know what I would do if this happened. Like, can you imagine, like, you're about to marry your husband and then some guy kisses your husband and then your husband is like, I'm sorry, I gotta leave you. Excuse me? I mean, I feel like I would obviously be mad, but, like, at the same time, I'll be like, I mean, good for you. At least you found true love. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.